My name is Brenda Pace, and I'm an archaeologist with INL's Cultural Resource Management Group. People have been attracted to the unique, natural resources of the INL site for thousands of years. Many generations of small, mobile family groups have made their homes here on the cold desert over the last 13,000 years. There are a variety of natural resources here at the INL that drew them. Game animals have always been abundant across the cool desert landscape, especially along the river corridors and natural wetlands of the region. Multitudes of birds live here year-round or pass through on yearly migrations. A myriad of useful native plants are present, including species like cattails and wild onions with edible roots, wild grains like Indian rice grass, and fibrous or woody species like Indian hemp and wild rose. Many varieties of stone suitable for making tools and useful for trade also occur in natural outcrops on and around the INL. Obsidian from nearby Big Southern Butte was used to make spear points for hunting creatures like mammoths during the last ice age, and bison in more recent times, and it was also traded far and wide, occurring in archaeological deposits as far east as Mississippi. A scraper used to process hides also speaks to the importance of hunting in prehistoric economies. The stories of these people's lives are left in the artifacts that they've left behind. For example, this column of soil that's exposed here has fragmentary bones that tell us that bison and rabbits were probably on the dinner menu for families camped along the Big Lost River all the way back 6,000 years ago and as recently as 150 years ago. Long-term restrictions on access and development and a system of careful environmental review have helped to preserve these fragile remnants of past human activity on INL lands. Federal law requires us to consider them whenever we engage in activities that might harm them. As INL employees, we can all be proud of the fact that the important missions and activities of our lab can coexist with the irreplaceable and fragile legacy that archaeological sites on the INL represent.